Yo, 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 what's up, Dark Weiser here. We are in the middle of Sweden. Somewhere, I don't really know. In this video, I will talk about how to become a better motorcycle rider, like what to think about and what you should practice on in order to become a better rider. And also, we're just going to ride around and have fun together. So, uh, stay f tuned and let's -a go. Here we go. <gasps> ABS, ABS, we're gonna turn on the ABS. Good, good. Off road. What is this? What is this? It is. Off-road. Let's go off-road. <laughs> okay, so how to become a better motorcycle rider? Okay, so my first tip to you guys and girls out there is to where should I go? Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking... Okay, let's go that way. Okay, so my first tip is to, of course, ride different types of motorcycles. For example, riding on an adventure motorcycle will give you some experience and also riding cruisers and yeah you get the point you get my point Ooh, it's a bit slippery in the sand here it has been raining all night so the rain is kind of soft soft and moist just like mm -mm -mm. Like we hit the end of the road. <laughs> Don't drop the bike. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so ride the different types of motorcycles because then you will experience. Because then you will practice on, you know, I don't know, just ride different types of motorcycles. Don't be afraid to like borrow your friend's motorcycle or, or don't miss the opportunity to ride a motorcycle that you have never ridden before. Let's say if a test ride bike would appear in the middle of nowhere. Take the chance! and ride it. You will learn so much about motorcycles when you do that. Because every motorcycle is different. They all feel different. It's not like you have ridden one cruiser then you can ride all cruisers or know how they feel because trust me every Harley Davidson they actually feel kind of different. So well mostly. Okay so and another tip that I have and another tip oh my god I love to ride on these types of roads I have said it like a million times before but it's worth saying once again just just look at this fucking place just look wow wow I love it Okay, so my, my, my next tip is to actually ride on different types of roads. For example, roads like these. 
Now, if you have like a sport motorcycle, you know, with like asphalt tires and doesn't really have good suspension and whatnot, then I mean, you can ride on these types of roads, but it's not op optional. Up, 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 up. It is not option. Op optional. Yeah. Op optional. Fucking optional. Yeah. Optimal. Yes, optimal. Fucking not optional. Optimal. Yeah, optimal. Sorry for that. Woo! It is optimal. It is not optimal to ride on these types of roads, but it's good. It gives you good, good experience. It teaches you how your motorcycle behaves. So, so don't be afraid to like ride on forest roads or country roads, gravel roads, sandy roads, asphalt roads, curvy roads, straight roads. Just ride any road that you can. It is good. You will learn a lot. Like I said it in some videos earlier. Oh, I love this. I f I love this. I actually love this road very much, very much indeed. Oh, there's a lake there. I want to go to it. <laughs> no, it's a hill. This is kind of where I started, actually. <laughs> I think. Nope. No, I have never. Maybe? No? So, yeah, ride on different types of roads with your motorcycle. For example, roads like this one, these, I don't know what they're called, like sand roads, sand, hard packed sand roads. And a common thing that I see is, ooh, look at this, imagine living there, by the gods, by the fucking gods, look here, Woo. Woo! I'm getting hard. Can we pull over here some somewhere? Nope. No. Apparently not. Kind of caught me off guard when I'm talking. <laughs> I'm gonna continue soon, so don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, fucking! F okay, we're gonna stop it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna turn around here. Oh, just look. Look at this! We must take a picture. <laughs> just look at this. Beautiful! You know, I would love to take more pictures when I'm out riding, but, but uh, you know, i rather just ride than stop and take pictures, so, well, this was an exception, but I actually prefer to just ride. <laughs> okay, so riding on different roads, that is my, that is actually my main tip for you. The idea is that you can learn to manage to handle your motorcycle on different types of roads the more experience you have the better I think that that is the way that I have gained the most experience look at this in the middle of nowhere in Sweden people just throw their junk so when I first started riding, I was scared of everything. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh that looks nice. Like if it was a curvy road and you have to lean the motorcycle, I was, I was afraid. 
I was afraid to ride on sand roads, country roads, you know, going fast because there was like tiny little gravel, of course, on it. So I was afraid of that. So I was afraid of everything. You know, those white lines. The, yeah, I read somewhere that they are slippery when it's when it's been raining. So that made me afraid of them overall. I'm just gonna go up this hill. Hill climb! Oh, that was stupid. How am I supposed to get down now? It was nice view. This bike is so goddamn big for me. I'm too tiny, really. It's not like I can turn around here. Maybe if I go up there, then turn around because this is soft sand. <laughs> nope, it was just slippering in the sand. Oh, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> We're getting some movement. Okay, let's walk down. Just to be safe. Whew, out of breath. I need to work out some more. A few moments later. And those, when they make new asphalt, you know, when they r repair the road, you see those little black, dark spots. I also read that they can be slippery when it's wet outside or, or like really warm, you know, then the tar from the asphalt comes up and makes it slippery. So I was afraid of those also. So I was just basically riding around being afraid. Do you have any tips for new riders, what they should practice on or how to evolve your riding skills? in order to become a good rider. I'm gonna enjoy the nature now and ride back a bit. I'm not gonna do any talking for a while now because I'm kinda exhausted from the goddamn hill. Why don't you join me and just enjoy the scenery? Maybe I will talk a little bit at the end, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Should I present another dark voice and motor remember? Mm, maybe. Maybe? Okay, I will do that. Um, I will do it now, or do you want to do it later? Now or later? N now? Okay. Off-road. Spasiba. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's have some fun. Don't crash now. <coughs> Woo. Woo. It's a bit slippery. Imagine, imagine if you fell down here. I don't know if you should call it practicing, but I think learning how to do wheelies are actually good for your riding experience in order to become a better rider. Now, I can't do wheelies. I can do those power wheelies, but not those controlled wheelies. And also, like motocross and riding enduro, I think if you, if you do that, you will become your you will become your, you will improve your riding skills even further, further, even further. So I hope to do that one day, to try some motocross or enduro. When I recorded this video, um, I met some riders and they told me about an application, an app, for like iPhone or whatever, where 
you could have motorcycles, you can choose to like only ride on these types of roads, like country roads, instead of asphalt road, so you can avoid riding on normal roads and just go, you know, on an adventure where the app basically tells you, like a GPS, it tells you where you should be riding, where you should ride in order to avoid those roads. And they said the name, but I, I didn't write it down, and I've been searching for it ever since. So if you do know what type, what, what, what app I'm talking about, please comment and let me know. Please, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm gonna go there. That looks like a nice road. Woo! Slippery as hell! It's not like this bike has any riding modes or traction control or whatever. Just pure motorcycle. Just the way it's supposed to be. Very good, very good.